everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so glad to have you here today i have five um great spring and easter projects for you guys to try all of these were super simple um i even reused some items from winter decor so you should never throw anything away. You never know what you might need it for. I also have items that come from Dollar Tree as well as Target. And as I said, I'm also repurposing some items um, that I purchased for from other seasons. So we're going to start with this blessed uh, rug. And I got this from the Dollar Tree. And it's a smaller rug and I wanted to repurpose it as hanging art. So I'm gonna take this nautical rope that I also got from Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna frame the outside of the rug, only on three sides. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'd love to have you subscribe so you can see more of my DIYs and projects. Also, I wanna thank those of you who are already subscribed and continue to support my growing channel. I appreciate it so much. So now that the rug is trimmed with a nautical rope, I'm gonna take two of these, um, what are these called, tinsel pieces? from Dollar Tree that um, had that during Christmas in the um, packets by themselves. I'm sorry, I forgot what they're called, but I'm just gonna hot glue two of them to the bottom of the rug. And then I'm gonna take these lilies and after I take the tag off of them, I'm going to place them um, at the top of the rug and I'm just trying to figure out um, which florals I'm gonna use and how I want them to lay so I'm gluing these together with hot glue and then I'm gonna bend the florals up so when you're looking at it you can see um, sort of the inside of the flower And then I'm using more hot glue to secure them in place to the rug. And then these Dollar Tree lilacs, I'm doing the same thing. And then I'm going to take three of these magnolia blooms, also from Dollar Tree, and place them right in the middle. Um, I'm actually using a lot of these magnolias in my decor around the house. I really, really like them. I have these, and I also have the ones that have kind of a pinkish hue on the very inside. And they're great for decor because the bloom is so big, it covers a lot of area. Now I'm taking these two greenery pieces, also from Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut the stem using wire cutters and place two leaves on each side of the bottom. And now, uh, using this butterfly pink, also from Dollar Tree, I'm going to uh, choose three butterflies off of this pick, and I'm going to place one up by the magnolia blooms, using a little bit of hot glue, and then one on each side of the bottom where the leaves are. And they have these butterflies in a few different colors. I also picked them up in purple, but I decided to use these pinch, 
peachy pink ones for this project. So to hang this up, I'm gonna use three hangers. And you can see there at the top, I uh, placed them 10 inches apart. And I did have to measure so I would know um, where to place the hangers on the wall so that they would meet up um, with these metal hangers in the back. And here it is. Um, I think it's so cute. I know that the Dollar Tree also has a blessed um, placemat, uh, but I really wanted to use this rug. It's just a larger size. And I think it's a really cute and creative way to repurpose a rug. What do you guys think? Now we're gonna move on to this um, light box and this is um, like a spring terrarium cactus project so you're gonna need two of these signs from Dollar Tree I've already taken off the letters of one and I wanted to show you how I did it so you're gonna turn it over and I'm going to use some nail polish remover to remove the letters. I thought I was going to use um, those two designs on either side, and that's why I'm not erasing them. Um, here I'm cleaning it with some glass cleaner, and you have to make sure the inside of it is really clean because you're going to glue it shut, so you don't want a fingerprint or anything left there. So nautical rope. For also from Dollar Tree as well as this wall decal and I'm gonna use this part right here and I'm measuring it and I do have to cut it down a little bit and I decide I don't need that little extra decor so I erase it so I'm gonna put the decal on the outside and these decals are removable so if you want to switch out the decals you can and using these copper lights from Dollar Tree, um, the rocks also came from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna place the lights all around the inside of the box and secure it with um, a little bit of hot glue here and there. So once I've gone all the way around the box, um, I'm going to secure the lights to some rocks and the reason that I'm doing this is because I don't want the wires to start to stick up inside of the box I want to secure them to a rock so I'm going to try this craft bond glue I found that at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go all the way around and for some reason I initially forgot to put hot glue um, but I do remember eventually and <laughs> there, there you go. I remember to put the hot glue and I'm going to hot glue the battery pack to the bottom of the box, um, below the rock. So you can't see it from the front and I'm going to trim out three sides using the nautical rope and this also helps to hide the seam from gluing the boxes together and this is what it looks like when it's just sitting on the shelf living its best life and then now I'm going to show you what it looks like with the lights on with lights in the room really cute box like I said the decals are removable so you can switch those out and at night, look at how much light that gives off. Really, really cute, simple project, and you can repurpose it quite easily. Now we're gonna make this little sign, and it's made up of a few different Dollar Tree signs. The first one is this long one. This is where the bunny comes from. And also we're gonna use this one here. This is the base of the sign and this sign as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove the hanger and the two galvanized metal pieces. 
and the extra glue that's stuck on the side. And now using some white chalk paint, I'm just going to cover as much of the blue as I can in the bunny. I'm gonna leave the edges um, if I can, as much as I can, I'm gonna leave the edges because they're already distressed. And now I'm gonna remove the bunny and the two carrots that say Happy Easter. And I'm gonna sand down the glitter from the bunny. If you see the little bunny head on the right, I do end up using that bow later on, so I do remove that as well. And I'm gonna take the bunny and I'm gonna cover it in this moss. Now that I've finished that, I'm going to turn it over and then trim it so that you can actually tell that it's a bunny and not just a big green blob. Smaller scissors probably would have worked best, but this is just the pair that I had on hand. And now I'm gonna put the sign back together now that the paint has dried. I'm gonna put the galvanized strips down first and then the carrot that says happy. And then I'm gonna put the bunny next. I am now going to glue down that little um, bow as well as one of these foam eggs. And then the Easter carrot. And then I'm gonna use some of this purple raffia as a hanger instead of jute twine. And I really love the way this came out. I like how rustic it is, um, a holiday like Easter, uh, I think it represents it well. Really, really cute sign, I love it. Now for our next project, we're gonna make this bunny tail mini wreath. And um, I'm gonna use the six inch metal wreath form, but if you can't find that, you can use this small um, wood wreath. I know Dollar Tree has the big wreath form still. I don't know if they have the small ones. Also, this headband came from Dollar Tree and they have these in different colors as well. I was trying to be careful tearing the ears off because I didn't want to damage them. Um, so I'm trying to be careful, but if you just use a little bit of force, they do rip right off and um, neither one was damaged. No bunny ears were harmed in the making of this mini wreath. I'm gonna use the back of the mini wreath um, instead of the front. And uh, Target Dollar Spot was selling snowballs, these packs of snowballs during Christmas. So I bought a pail of those and I'm gonna repurpose them as big fluffy bunny tails. And I'm going to glue them into place as close together as possible so you won't be able to see any of the green metal um, from the front. And if you didn't buy these, uh, Dollar Tree is also selling um, bunny tails, so you can use those as well. And now I'm going to glue the ears to the back. You could also go onto Amazon and get some white pom-poms um, or Michaels might have some as well. So I'm gluing the ears down to the first two rungs of the wreath. And now I'm going to take this sheer ribbon, also from Dollar Tree, um, and they match the pink of the ears and I'm just gonna make a little simple hanger uh, out of this sheer ribbon.
And here it is, just plain like that. I think it's super cute. But, you know, I have to be a little extra. <laughs> so I'm going to add this part of the sign, Dolly Tree sign, to the middle. And because it had a little hole in the head, I just covered it up with a little shoelace bow. And I think it's so adorable and so cute be really sweet um, hanging on the front door during Easter time. Our next project is going to be a floral arrangement. I got this watering can from the Target Dollar Spot for $5. They also had a green one, but I wanted this one bright yellow, so I grabbed it. And I'm gonna stuff the bottom. There are actually two uh, bags in there. And I'm gonna use this one floral foam piece this is from the Dollar Tree. This is the one that comes with four separate pieces in one package. And I'm gonna start using some Forsythia. And it's um, all of the longer pieces, I bend the bottom of it because I think these are made for like longer, a longer vase. Um, I have to tell you guys that flower arranging is not my strong suit but I do love florals and I love flowers so I'm arranging this in a way that I like it you know when I look at it, it makes my heart happy um, it makes me smile it may not be technically correct <laughs> in fact it probably is not technically correct as far as floral arranging is um, supposed to be but I just played around with it I moved things around here and there um, just so I would like it and I got these egg picks from the Dollar Tree these were new I didn't see these before and I'm gonna use four of them in their arrangement. And here it is on my mantle. And I think it turned out really well. Um, I think it has just the right hint of yellow to complement the yellow watering can. And I took my fairies out, guys. I haven't done my fairy garden yet, but I found my fairies. And I put the one with the watering can right next to the watering can. And there you can see the egg picks that I placed in there. And also my Dollar Tree finally got the jute carrots. So I bought a pack and placed them on my three-tiered tray. And I found this little fairy to put next to the bird cage. I'll link the video where I did these DIYs for you if you missed it. And I also put some more carrots here. And this fairy was holding a little bluebird. So of course she had to go right next to our nesting birds with her twine eggs. And then up top here, I placed these two fairies, one reading and one holding a bouquet of flowers. So I hope you enjoy these DIYs. Um, they were not too complicated and I was inspired to try something new with um, repurposing a lot of items that I already had and items that I found. I hope you enjoyed. Again, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my DIYs. I have a ton more projects for Easter and spring that I want to do, so I should be uploading quite a few videos in the near future. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thank you um, for subscribing, for hanging out with me, and I really hope to see you again in the near future on another one of my videos. Thank you guys so much. Take care. Bye-bye.